someone said to me, you know, I, I do tributes to Mahalia Jackson, and Mahalia Jackson was, well, how many of you remember Mahalia Jackson? I guess they say I'm one of those Yelit Tov Yerushalayim, the good little Jewish boy. I'm just turned 41, and uh, but my last, the last 12 years of my life was spent taking care of my grandparents. They have passed on now, but you know, I was doing, was given offers by Oprah Winfrey and uh, different recording companies, and I turned them down because I had seen enough people go after ambitions and forsake those that's most important in, in life, and that's life itself. So for the last 12 years, I took care of my grandfather. And when he passed, I was almost married to my grandmother. I filled in his shoes. She wouldn't call me Joshua, she would call me Elvin. And, and my brother, he would say, why is she calling you Elvin? I said, because that's what marriage is about. When grandpa went on, I filled in his shoes and I took care of her. I moved her into my house. I washed her feet and gave her a bath. She wouldn't let nobody else touch her but her grandson. And um, the doctors didn't think she would live. She was 83 and uh, she outlived three of her doctors. <laughs> Her, her health regained, her, 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 the, 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 the quest for life. She had said to me, she said, just take a rock and hit me over the head with. And I discovered, you know, I taught Hebrew school and did a lot of things, but that was when I discovered the most important things of life. And that was life itself. And many would say, oh, they almost was feeling sorry for me because, oh, you gotta do this. I said, no, 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 you don't understand. I want to do this. I want to extend her life. I want to give joy and love and watch someone flourish. And after six, she was on so many medications, by the time she reached 90, she was off of all her medications. And 91, and 92, and 93, and 94. And when it came her time to pass on, we knew it and we were ready to let her go. But I always give a word to people about the essence of life. It's so important. I'm not a commercial artist because I like to spend time with the people that I sing with. Not a gimmick, not a commercial but to let people know that there is life in Judaism. If anyone has journeyed to the land of Israel, my grandmother reminded me of a woman named Hannah Senesh. life to help others. Oh! 